Hello students, in today's video we shall learn about soil. What is soil? The thin layer of grainy substance covering the surface of the earth is called soil. It is closely linked to land. Landforms determine the type of soil. Soil is made up of organic matter, minerals and weathered rocks found on the earth. This happens through the process of weathering. The right mix of minerals and organic matter make the soil fertile. What is weathering? The breaking up and decay of exposed rocks by temperature changes, frost action, plants, animals and men is termed as weathering. Did you know it takes hundreds of years to make just one centimeter of soil? Now let us look at the soil profile. This figure is taken from your NCRT textbook. The topmost or the first layer is made up of the topsoil with humus and vegetation. The second layer is the subsoil with sand, silt, and clay. The third layer is made up of weathered rock material. And lastly, the fourth layer is the parent rock. Students, we shall now proceed to learn the factors of soil formation. The major factors of soil formation are the nature of the parent rock and climatic factors. The other factors are the topography, role of organic material and time taken for the composition of soil formation. All these differ from place to place. The factors that affect the soil formation are parent rock which determines the color, texture, chemical properties, mineral, content, permeability etc while climate that is temperature and rainfall influence the rate of weathering and humus formation. The relief features such as altitude and slope determine accumulation of soil. The flora, fauna and microorganisms affect the rate of humus formation. And lastly time, it determines the thickness of the soil profile. All these affect the soil formation. What causes the degradation of soil? Soil erosion and depletion are the major threats to soil as a resource. Both human and natural factors can lead to degradation of soils. The human factors which lead to soil degradation are deforestation, overgrazing, Overuse of chemical fertilizers or pesticides. On the other hand, the natural factors that lead to soil degradation are rain wash, landslides and floods. Now we shall study some methods of soil conservation. To begin with mulching. The bare ground between plants is covered with a layer of organic matter like straw. It helps to retain the soil moisture. Contour barriers Stones, grass, soils are used to build barriers along contours. Trenches are made in front of the barriers to collect water. Rock dam Rocks are piled up to slow down the flow of water. This prevents gullies and further soil loss. Terrace farming These are made on the steep slopes so that flat surfaces are available to grow crops. They can reduce surface runoff and soil erosion. Intercropping Different crops are grown in alternate rows and are sown at different times to protect the soil from rain wash. Contour Plowing Plowing parallel to the contours of a hill slope to form a natural barrier for water to flow down the slope. 
and lastly shelter bells. In the coastal and dry region, rows of trees are planted to check the wind movement to protect soil cover. With these methods, we come to an end of the lesson. Let's summarize. In today's video, we have learned what is soil. We have learned the soil profile, the factors affecting soil formation, causes of soil degradation, and also learned the conservation measures. Thank you students. Happy learning.